my name is Andrew Gall, and I'm running for Congress. I'm running for Congress in Maryland's 5th District, go Terps. Uh, it's a district which has been represented by Steny Hoyer for, for longer than I've been alive. Um, a number of folks have asked me why I'm challenging a leader from within my own party, so I thought I'd take a, a quick second to, to let people know uh, how I came to this decision. So. Uh, but quickly, a little bit about me. I, I live in College Park. I'm a graduate student getting my master's degree in public policy. I've uh, worked in the public sector, the private sector, the nonprofit sector, taught English as a second language. I um, was served a term uh, in AmeriCorps VISTA, helping fight poverty in America. And I was a campaign staffer on President Obama's campaign. Um, for why I'm challenging Hoyer, I think it boils down to two main uh, reasons. One is 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 accountability, and two is the role of special interests. So so first off, I, I just think that we don't hold politicians accountable for their actions. It seems as if once politicians are first elected, they get a free ride. And and this is especially true from within their own party, even if they act in a way that is uh, goes against the basic fundamental principles for which the party is supposed to stand. And so uh, part of it's it's going against that that culture of just natural incumbency. And and I think Steny Hoyer is a great example of this. He, he has been an advocate for invading Iraq. He granted retroactive telecom uh, immunity. He, you know, has been wrong on equal rights. He's been wrong on human rights. He's, he's and to me, that's just, that's not acceptable. It's, it's not. Um, you know, I, I, I don't understand how the Democratic Party would have him as a leader because these are the principles on which the party is supposed to stand. And and if you aren't standing on principle, then you're simply holding power for power's sake. And that's not okay. It's it's just not. It's it, The only reason to run, for, for me at least, the only purpose for getting elected is to stand up for the principles for which I believe. And I think that that should be the case um, for everybody. And, and, and we have a blueprint here in Maryland. We have uh, Donna Edwards as a, as a great example. But I'm not simply running as an opposition force to Hoyer. Uh, I'm also running to divide money from politics. The reality is that special interests play way too large of a role in American governance today. And we need an advocate who, who is able to actually take this on and and win. And, and in terms of winning, um, well, f first, let me just, just explain why special interests play such a corrosive role. And it's, and it's not the lobbyists or bad people or anything like that, but it's it's that when they win, <laughs> the rest of us lose. By, by creating these, these tax loopholes for their companies or their industries or, or being able to structure uh, you know regulatory reform in a way that helps in entrenched interests, it, it's... It, it, it tilts the basic framework of the economy from from a, a level sort of free market basic principle to one which which these large corporate interests are are, are given sway over your small businesses over your startups and and when you stifle innovation when you stifle startups by by uh, propping up these these corporations with these tax loopholes with with these uh, earmarks with these regula regulations that are they're beneficial to to uh, existing companies you you uh, you hurt the basic structure of our economy we, you you take away the dynamism which which is uh, the free market system and so it, it creates a system that that you are you are setting it up to fail you're setting your economy to fail when you when you have special interests that have too much power. And so, how do you address this this reality of too much power? Um, fundamentally, it's about who pays these politicians. Um, their paychecks come from us, yes, but but how do they get those paychecks? By getting reelected, by getting elected. And and right now, 
it's private interests that fund elections. It's special interests, for the most part, that fund elections. And until we have public financing of elections, we will continue to see politicians representing private interests at the expense of the public. So we need public financing of elections. We need an advocate for public financing of elections in Congress, a strong advocate. And this is another reason why uh, I'm running now. And it, it brings me back to why I, as, as, a, as a graduate student, am challenging Representative Hoyer. Um, the only way to successfully take on the entire Washington structure, the you know the entire structure of money in politics, uh, the only way to divide that is to truly shake Washington's power structure. And I, I can't imagine anything that would would rock Washington more than having a graduate student, having a college student, defeat the majority leader. And this is what we need today. We need a shaking up of Washington because the status quo is not working. The status quo isn't bringing us health care. The status quo isn't developing our renewable energy sources here at home. Uh, the status quo is not is not uh, creating a regulatory structure for, for our financial industry that, that is protecting us consumers. And so let's shake up Washington. Um, I, I, I thank you for your time and learn more at andrewforcongress.org. Thank you, and goodbye.